All right. What are you thankful for? That Thanksgiving's only once a year. <laughs> <laughs> and you're thankful for what else besides Scout? Thankful that the weather is warm and Scout is It is out. warm. We're in Texas <laughs> for the holidays, and it's warmer down here. So it's Scout's been out, hanging scout out. Scout love. Yeah. Mm. And we had to let Scout go play. Yeah. He was trying to climb onto the island behind us. Yeah. I didn't get electrocuted in Branson, yeah. so we got that going for yeah. us. <laughs> You had minor abrasions <laughs> from your tumble down the stairs. Mm -hmm. So we're all good. <laughs> so we're thankful for our health. It could have been a lot worse. Could have. We could have drowned it or even worse. Or even worse. <laughs> <laughs> we are thankful for you, all of you who watch every week, all of our videos and liking them and sharing them, commenting so we can communicate yeah. with you guys and, and uh, just getting more more view time so we can earn more money to give more money to veterans mm -hmm. and we're thankful that we have been able to do that twice now yes to give money to veterans and shine a little bit of a spotlight on some veteran organizations yeah. they're doing some really great things out mm -hmm. in the veteran communities yeah. in their areas so we're really happy to do that and we can't wait to do more yeah can't wait to do do some more and give some more money away we are thankful for our service members who can't be home this thanksgiving yes who are serving overseas and defending our freedom. I've been there. Yes. Several times. Mm -hmm. I've been one of the guys that, that was not able to be home. So we're thankful that we were able to be together yes. for the holidays. And Lauren will be joining us. And Lauren's coming. So we're thankful that we're going to we'll have Lauren. We'll all be Lauren. together. Yeah, we're thankful that we're going to be together for the holidays. And uh, now that we're on the road, we can hit different parts of our family for different holidays. Yes. So that's going to be that's going to be great too. Not just the service members though, you got the first responders who are out there during Thanksgiving yeah. who, who are not able to be with their families because you got the police who are out there, the firefighters, mm -hmm. the first responders, the EMS, uh, all of those fire and rescue folks. So we're thankful for all of those who are, who are not able to be with their family because they're out there either protecting us here or overseas. Uh, we're thankful for all of our veterans who have served. If you've served in the military, thank you for your service, for your sacrifice. And we know you probably spent some time away from your family and we're thankful that, that you were willing to do that. You were willing to leave your family and go fight for our freedom. Most of all, we are thankful for those who didn't make it back. Um, and we make it a point to honor a fallen hero in every single one of our, our videos. And uh, we've tried to put it in words a bunch of different times in a bunch of different mm -hmm. videos, but there's not a great way to put into words how much we appreciate the uh, the sacrifice of those. And we were a couple weeks ago in, um, in Newkirk, mm -hmm. Oklahoma, where a, a friend of mine who is, is buried there, and we got to go and pay a visit to him and pay our respects. And uh, so all, not just for all the fallen, but especially for, for Jed, uh, because he didn't just sacrifice his life for his country, he sacrificed his life for me, like specifically for me and, and our team. So. Um, just can't put into words how much that meant to us. Right now we're going to tell you a little bit more about Jed and show you some of our visit out there in Newkirk. So, here you go. I was kind of debating on whether to even film out here or not, but it's part of our story. Yes. So I decided to go ahead and do it. We are at the um, the Newkirk Cemetery in Newkirk, Oklahoma, and it is the, um, the gravesite of Jared Hartley. We know him as Jed, mm -hmm. um, but he was um, he was with me in Iraq in uh, 2005. We were in the same vehicle, and our vehicle was struck by a suicide bomber. And uh, he was the gunner at the time, so he was the guy that that uh, sticks out the top of the vehicle. And we took that blast, and uh, he was killed in that in that deal. And uh, my driver and I were injured in it, but um, he was killed. And we haven't been back here since. 2007 Seven so it's been eight. about 12 years since we've been back here and uh, the reason that we're filming and talking about it is because like I said it's part of our story it's um, it's the reason that yeah. I'm still here um, people like yeah. Hartley um, are the reason that all of us have the freedom that we have but specifically and more of a, of a personal thing for me is that uh, I'm still here 
I've still got to spend the last 14, almost 15 years with you and with mm -hmm. Lauren and with the rest of the family because he sacrificed his life for mine. We left a couple of things today. First of all, Jed had a, a crazy sense of humor. We used to clown all the time downrange. You didn't know him when he no, was alive. No, I didn't. But um, he was a clown. He always liked to clown around. So I think that he would find it humorous that we're out here on Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> to visit him. I think he would think that was funny. You know, because that's just the kind of twisted sense of humor that we had. You know, we always joked around like, about why would inappropriate you pick stuff. That day to come? <laughs> <laughs> and it's not that we picked this day, but it just so happened no, we were here that, yeah. at, at, during this week and we're going to visit his parents yeah, today. Yeah, they want us over for dinner. And it just weather's be been bad for the last couple of days and it just so happened we're here. But I think he would find it funny. Yeah, probably would. Um, so another thing that. Um, if you're ever going through a cemetery and you see a, a veteran's grave with coins on it, mm -hmm. certain coins mean certain different things. Yeah. So if you see a penny on the grave of a veteran, that means that you're just, someone just finished it. Yeah. If you see a nickel, whoever dropped that nickel served with that veteran in boot camp. They went to basic training together, or boot camp if, if they're a Marine. And if there is a dime, that means they served in some capacity together somewhere along the way they served together mm -hmm. and if you see a quarter on the on the headstone that means that whoever dropped that was actually there at the time that that veteran passed away another thing that we did which i thought was funny which i think jed was would think was funny is when we were at the um, federal reserve bank the money museum yeah uh, they had these big huge novelty uh, yeah. quarters yeah and i knew i was gonna um we knew we were going to be coming here to visit Jed's grave, and so with the with the tradition of dropping the coin, um, I thought it'd be cool to get one of the huge. Quarters. You always have to be different. <laughs> you have to I get one out. of the one of the huge quarters, and so I left that for him uh, at his grave today. And I think he would find that funny. Yeah. That, that we left the huge huge quarter. Just make it be known. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing that we left for him was a flag and um it's a a flag folded in the in the triangle shape um which is the way you fold a flag when you're rendering honors or or, yeah. or retiring the colors for the day um and that flag has significance because that was the first flag that flew over our rv yeah uh, so it to us is a symbol of freedom to be able to be out on the road mm -hmm. full time to be able to live this lifestyle and because of Jed's sacrifice the reason that we get to do that um, so when you bought me that flag set um, mm. that flag flew over the RV for uh, several months we uh, took that down I bought another flag uh, and put it up and so we took that flag down and instead of getting rid of that flag um, we folded it up and brought it out here uh, to place on, on Jed's grave. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you have a great Thanksgiving with your family. And Don't we... eat too much. <laughs> You'll pay for it the next day. <laughs> I'm going to eat a bunch. I know. <laughs> I probably will too. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to have fun. And we hope you guys have fun and enjoyable Thanksgiving also. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.